I'm Anil Kumar and now we are going to explore some discrete sequences which are neither arithmetic nor geometric. And let us again play with toothpicks as we did for the very first chapter on this unit. Now this time what we will do is we'll make n by n grids. The question here is determine a rule for calculating Tn, the number of toothpicks needed to create n by n grid of squares n by n grid means uh, kind of like this. This is my 1 by 1 grid. Sorry. 1 by 1 grid. So let me write here 1 by 1 so that you understand what I am trying to say. And 2 by 2 will be that each unit is 2 units long. That is how my grid is going to be. And imagine they are equal squares. right? So this I will say is my 2 by 2 grid. Okay. So likewise, we can make uh, many grids like this. So let me make one 3x3 three three grid now this time. Okay, so this is my 3x3 three three grid. So let me just break it into 9 parts. 3x3 three three will give me 9 squares, correct? So this is 3x3. Three three. And uh, similarly, we can make uh, one 4x4, four four, okay? And now I'll, I'll stop after this 4x4. Four and uh, then we'll work out a rule to find the number of toothpicks required to make such a grid. Okay, so likewise you can continue. So this one is our 4 by 4 grid. Now the question here is to find n for n by n grid. So if we have n by n grid, how many toothpicks are there? Now to find answer for this question, we can begin in the normal way, making a tally chart, right, t table. So what we'll do here is we'll say n by n, and then we'll say write t n here. Okay. So first, let us begin when n is one. So I'm writing actually n. So we'll say, okay, we can write one by one. So when it is n is one, in that case, the number of toothpicks you can count and write here. So in this case it is 4. If I do 2 by 2, then again you can count the number of toothpicks. And since I've done the counting already, let me write down the numbers. So it is 12. We will count like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Right? So 12. So 3 by 3 will give you how many? If you count all this, 3 by 3 will give you 24 and 4 by 4 will give you a number 40. So likewise, you can actually uh, make grids count number of toothpicks. Now the real question is, how to find number of toothpicks for n by n following a particular pattern? Now, what can we do to get to the answer? That is what we need to work with. Now one way, of course, is to find the difference, a right? finite difference. So let us continue this table and then find finite difference. So now we will find the finite difference. So let me denote this as the first difference. Okay. So first difference means we will do 12 minus 4. 12 minus 4 is 8 and then we'll do 24 minus 12 which is 12 and then we'll do 40 minus 24 and then that is 16, okay. Uh, uh, so it is 3, uh, 10, 3, 16, yeah. So it is 16. So likewise, we can kind of get a pattern. Now clearly, the first difference is not constant. So this relation is not linear, right? Let us find the second difference. So when you find the second difference, what do you get? So in case of the second difference, it is... Uh, 12 minus 8, which is 4, and 16 minus 12 is 4. Second difference is co constant. That means the relation which defines is quadratic, right? So it is a quadratic relation, correct? Now, the, if some of you remember, if quadratic difference, we found that the second difference, I should write second difference is constant, right? and we found this is equals to 4. In that case, what can be the equation? Well, if the second difference is constant, we definitely know that this relation 
uh, should involve 2n square, half of 4, right? So that means it involves, our Tn involves 2n square plus something which we don't know. Since second difference is constant. In general, for any polynomial, if uh, nth difference is constant, then the a, the leading coefficient is this divided by n factorial. But well, some of you may not know about n factorial. We are not getting in there. But at least remember this part. If the second difference is constant, then a is 2, half of that number. Okay, So it is 2. So we kind of know that now tn, nth term, could be related with 2n square plus something. Plus what? This is what we'll figure out from here. Okay, so now let us write down these numbers again and then relate them with what we have learned. So what we will do is, I will write again a table, okay, and then calculate, okay. So what we are trying to do now is writing n numbers, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm writing 1, 2, this is my t1, this is my t2 t3, t4. And the values which we have here are 4, 12, 24, 40 and so on. Correct? We know 2n square is part of our equation. What is the other part? This is what we'll figure out. If I write n as 1, I get what? 2 times 1 square. That is to say, if I'm writing 1, right? 1 square. How do I get 4? 2 times 1 is 2, plus 2 will give me 4. Wow, that's okay. Now this time, n is 2. So I'll write 2 times 2 square, plus what gives me 12? That is how I'm developing the formula. 2 square is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. Good. Here, 2 times 3 square, plus what is 24? 3 squared is 9, 9 times 2 is 18, 18 plus 6 is 24, okay? How about 40? 2 times 4 squared plus what gives me 40? That is the simple question which you need to ask to get the answer. 4 squared is 16, 16 times 2 is 32 and 32 plus 8 is 40. So we kind of get this number for these values. Now the idea is, we have to relate these values to the number. How is 8 related with 4? How is 3 related with 6? How is 2 related with 4? How is 1 related with 2? They are double the number, right? So the formula should be 2n square plus 2n. Do you get the idea? So we get our general formula, that is, tn is 2n square plus 2n. So that is our answer. So we'll write in the n by n matrix, the number of toothpicks required will be 2n square plus 2n, right? So that is how you can get a formula for such a question. So you need to make a table of values, find differences, and from the differences you get clues to get to the rule. And if you follow some pattern in figuring out those rules, you can get to a general equation. It can be tricky, but such examples can help you find the answer in the best possible way. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.